All right. Hi, uh, Jonathan Amy, and we're here again with Steve Ward, and we're going to talk a little bit uh, about games, really short, quick games that you can run uh, with your learners. Great. Uh, I want to um, focus on one game this time around, and that being relay races. So one of the, the great things about relay races, it's great for team building, right? So whoever, if you have multiple kids at home um, or involving parents in the relay race, um, you're building the team. Everyone's rooting for everyone else to be fast enough. Uh, another nice thing about relay races, depending upon how you set them up, is you can be getting your exercise during this time. I know it, it's harder to get exercise if we're largely stuck indoors, so this is one good opportunity for doing that. Um, the first step that I would work on if it was, uh, let's say, a kid who doesn't naturally appreciate the entertainment of us going fast, racing against the clock, if you have a typically developing two or three year old or, or someone functioning at that kind of level, it's so easy to do speed games. You say, hey, let's see if we can go faster than this. And you do something that's the least bit silly, balancing a beanbag on your head while you walk over and, and you um, bow to drop it into a bin. They're going to love that the first time you suggest it, and it's a cakewalk for you to do it. Uh, a lot of my kids have had, I've had to build up prerequisites of specifically teaching them what it means to go fast and what the value of that is. And I can't do that by explaining it to them. I have to demonstrate that through contingencies, through experiences. So I'll do what I call a beat the clock program. And this sometimes this starts off very, very mundane. It's just... Here's a big bowl and here's some clothespins. You have about 10 or 15 seconds to get this many clothespins in there. Um, and if the timer beeps and there's clothespins still on the floor, that's what slow is. And if, <laughs> if all the clothespins are in the bowl and the timer hasn't beeped yet, that's what fast is. And you learn this from that experience. Um, with some of my kids, they would have to get uh, half of a cookie for being fast enough, even on something that only took 15 seconds. And then of course, a lot of kids, thankfully don't need that. They just want to, you know, the enthusiasm of the people around them um, is, is satisfying enough. So if we get that basic contingency established, our, our kids know what FAST is, um, then we can begin, then it really opens the door to all the different ways that we might, um, all the logistics of how we might set up a relay race. So it might be for, if I was really emphasizing the exercise, I might have encyclopedias if anyone still has paper encyclopedias <laughs> around <laughs> right I, we still have them at my uh, my hometown in Fond du Lac Wisconsin uh, <laughs> but if I have all these encyclopedias at the bottom of the stairs and between me and Jonathan and Michelle we have to get all the encyclopedias one at a time to the top of the stairs and put them up on a shelf at the top of the stairs and there's 18 stairs we're getting a fairly decent workout if we got A to Z to go up there we're oh, getting man, that's awesome good, that's great right yeah. That's a good workout. We're all on the same team. We beat it together. The, as soon as we beat it, we get the chance to enjoy uh, an emergency drink, a, a Gatorade or yeah. something, and, <laughs> and figure out what our next activity is. That's terrific. Thank you so much for that, Steve. That was great. Sure thing.